ever since I put up the uh, uh, music mic, the Williams music mic, little 10-play automatic jukebox from 1952 with the uh, custom light-up grill, people have asked me about doing it and uh, you know, how do you do it and all that stuff. Well, this is, I'm just showing you how this is, this machine is, uh, you're just seeing the, the front part of it right now. This is uh, Mickey Treats, uh, heck of a nice guy. He's uh, coin up NY and he has also has a, a, a jukebox uh site here on YouTube. But anyway, this is his machine, and uh, I'm just putting it back together after re doing an overhaul on it. And uh, I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, this is a part. Now, behind the grill, you'll see, if I can get this out without wrecking everything, here's just the bare grill and the LEDs. Now, uh, as I've said before on, on all my videos, it's very hard with, the, with the, the way the CCD pickups are on these cameras to pick up the true colors because it's very, you, can, you can't even distinguish between what's red, orange, yellow. They all look the same, even though in real life they're very beautiful and the, the colors are very distinct. But anyway, that's besides the point. Looking at this here, <clears throat> what I add on this thing is uh, a series of terminal strips put in five terminal strips and they have to straddle these empty holes here because these empty holes are what lock the front panel to the rest of the cabinet so you can't obstruct anything there so it's a very there's not much room that you have to do stuff like this w without it getting in the way anyway the terminal strips are here and then I put there's a dropping resistor for each of the LEDs the uh, 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 purple, blue, and green are newer INGAN technology, and they're more efficient, so they take more resistance. They take a 1K resistor for each one. I have a common minus side. This bus bar at the top is a common negative from the power supply, and the positive, I have this running to various spots on the, uh, on the terminal strips, and then from those terminal strips I have the resistors coming out to each LED. The uh, red, orange, and yellow LEDs take a 330 ohm resistor for each one. So every LED has a resistor. And then uh, I added this uh, gold lame grill cloth here to give it a, a real sparkle, makes it pop, like they say, and uh, it makes it look really nice. I also bring it down to the bottom toe board here and it uh, gives it more reflectivity. Now you have to do this with the front with the selector removed and to do because you can't just pull this top part here you can't just pull this off until you take the selector out of the back <clears throat> and the selector comes out let's go around the back here the selector what you see right here this has already been all rebuilt and already cleaned and all the switches done but anyway there are three nuts at the top here. There's one here and one in the middle and one over on this side. And you take those three nuts off and then there's also two brackets that support it from the bottom. Uh, the bracket is right here and it screws into the front of the cabinet down in here. This back area here is where the rectifier and power supply for the LEDs and the transmitter and the uh, preamp because this one's also going to have the, uh, the FM stereo broadcasting and the uh, preamplifier so that it can broadcast in true stereo as well as keep the original amplifier and speaker functional. But anyway, that's, uh, that's and how it's done. Then after you get the thing in, you have to put the, the metal grill mesh on first. Then you have to put this part the selector face right there, you have to put that back in. Then after that's in, then you can put the uh, button panel back in. Also notice too, that the way these LEDs are put in here, uh, they're bow-legged and that's because the buttons have to go through this. The buttons have to go through the front panel in between the LED legs and come out the front. So as I say, there's not a lot of room. Now, a couple of these, like this one here, uh, because of the, just the way it is, uh, I was, I had, these are kept close together and then just kind of bent so that they're even across the front. But as you see, every one is like bow-legged so that the buttons will fit through. And anyway, that's how the uh, music mic is converted to a light-up grill. I think it gives it a great, uh, a great effect.
and uh, people really like it a lot. And as I say, with the FM stereo transmitter added, it's even more useful as a as a music player, and you can play it throughout the house. And I do have the kits available to do this entire job. It's uh, for everything, the LEDs, the transformer, the power supply, the transmitter module, and the preamp module, and the stereo cartridge. That whole kit is 125 bucks. So if you're interested, uh, they're available anytime you want one. And that's it.